a lovely day with my mum. Here's mama. Hi. We've had a very <laughs> lovely weekend with each other and my dad. And now today is a girls day. We're up, we're early. We've walked down King's Road and first stop is Juice Baby for a smoothie bowl. Both acai bowls with peanut butter. Um, so yes, we're starting it here. It's nine o'clock, so we're up and out. And then, yeah, we've got a nice shopping day and then a really nice experience with Stone Square. So I thought I'd take you along for a lovely day. What a lovely Monday. Yeah. I'll to move a juice baby acai bowl with extra peanut butter because we gotta get the peanut butter. And look at those big boobs. They're huge. <laughs> Shopping in Zara. Oh, very pretty. Ah! Oh, I like those little sandals. Very cute. Summer is arriving. Da -da -da. Really cute. I like these. I need to get another bucket hat. I don't know if you can see me, but we've done a little shopping morning. There's some things that we both want and we're kind of thinking about it and then going back but we're now off to Diptyque which is on Sloan Street um, for our little experience. I'm very excited. I'm not, I'm not too very well known with the Diptyque scents and stuff so it'll be nice to experience it and get to know the brand and yeah a lovely start to the morning. Well the week actually. But yeah. Off we pop. And the sun is shining, so delightful. First stop is Diptyque. We just popped into Anya Highmaster, which is next door. I'm going to see if I have time to take Mum to the Anya Highmaster High Street because it's very cute. But we have an appointment with Diptyque, so let's go in. We've just arrived at the Diptyque store in Sloan Square, and actually, this is their flag shop now. And I didn't realise they have like all the interior pieces we've just gone through a couple of the products so we have some diffusers some things for the home like beautiful like just even like the candles are just absolutely stunning and this is what i'm interested in these are for the wardrobes so you put them in the wardrobe and you can pick the fragrance to your desire so your clothes always just smell like you you've got the car diffusers and it's just absolutely stunning and they've just launched a new one called Papier which is like the the fragrance of just like fresh ink but then we've got some of the fragrances we're gonna go through now and like see which one is more us I've tried this one and that is really lovely um, but yeah we're gonna go for a couple more and just explore and then actually as well in this one they've I can't I don't know if you can see it here they've actually had like an artist come in and hand paint the whole the whole of the store and it is absolutely beautiful I just want to move in it's like an interior shop it's stunning but yeah look, look at this painting in here this is all hand painted and it is just I think you know when you were saying about your peony wallpaper you want in that in your bedroom you want that <laughs> that is it's absolutely stunning I want the bathroom I want the big candles I've always wanted a random sink like this my interior my Pinterest interiors board is that oh it's stunning and I just love the red this red with that it looks stunning so yeah uh-oh, I feel like my my bank's going to hurt after this experience. <laughs> nice. I like yeah. that. That's lovely. It's beautiful, isn't it? So really that's nice. Capital. Yeah. The inspiration's behind Paris and the smells of I Paris. I suppose actually, perfectly said you, but like Paris back yeah. in the day, but yeah, yeah, yeah. something else mixed with it. Yeah. So that's you've got the rose place. in there, yeah, bergamot, and a little bit of patchouli. Yeah. So I just think if you like that classic, yeah. Yeah. that is just yeah. a beautiful, beautiful scent. That's really pretty. Yeah. That's really lovely. Yeah, yeah. Because you said you like that kind of little bit of musky, powdery. So this is our fleur de peau. It smells as well like um, fire, like, um, like someone like burning flat, like that after smell. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's smoky yeah. in a good way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like, it is that 
That's what's really lovely about Frank. Yeah, very individual. Yeah, very soft. It's like a really, yeah, it's a light yeah. version of that. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of iris. I really like that. It's a little bit that. different, isn't it? It's really different. Yeah. So we're doing all right so far. Yeah. <laughs> so this is our classic 34. So the inspiration behind this range was our boutique in Paris. And um, imagine like it's just that beautiful mix. So you've got that little bit of citrus, a little bit of woody, floral. Kind of like if you could imagine like years of a building and all the little different scents yeah. going in the nooks and crannies and you just get that real beautiful rounded smell. Yeah, like that. that's really yeah. nice. So that's in the eau de toilette, so it's that little mm. bit lighter. Yeah. has a little bit of eucalyptus so We do it in the eau de parfum, but it's a little bit more woody. Okay. A little bit heavier. That's a little bit more light. Yeah. You want that in your house as yeah. well, Yeah, when we do that, yeah. it's that 34, it's... Quite similar. Oh, I see. Yeah, thirty four is our like signature set. Yeah. So um, that and that comes in kind of everything: the room diffusers, room sprays, our hourglass, our candles. Amazing. Yeah, it's really it's funny. We've just come back from Paris, in fact, because yeah. he's a makeup artist, and we were there for Fashion Week, and we opened the door after a week, and I was like, something smashed. <laughs> something must have smashed. You know, something's gone over, it's and nothing hurt. But the flat just, and I was like, oh, that's nice. If that's oh, what people are walking into. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> something's not this not so not bad. Yeah. This is another one, because you said you kind of like those kind of like a little bit more masculine. Yeah. Things. This is our Orpheon. So you kind of Ooh. have those woody notes. So it's got the cedar. Oh, that's stunning. But it also has a little bit of juniper berries, so you get that freshness. It's really nostalgic, yeah. this one. My, these are my two favourites. Yeah. <laughs> so we did well with those yeah. four. Yeah. yeah? Anything that you think was missing? Anything else you'd maybe like? Were you quite liking those kind of scents? I love those scents. Mm. One I was, I don't know why in my head this note has come in my head, but Fig. Do you have any? Yeah, 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 of course. I don't know why that just popped into my, I think it was these that, so at the moment, we're both liking, you're like an O capital, capital. And 30, I'd love 34, 34 in the house. Is lovely, yeah. 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 So we've just picked out our fragrances. We're going for the Neroli, which both of us really enjoy. And it's been such a really nice experience in here. We've been trying out the candles and the products and just kind of getting to know about the brand and what are the scents behind them and what are their like favorite popular ones. And it's just been really lovely. But the Neroli one, we both really want to go for. It's the Leo de Neroli. And we've actually been kindly gifted one each. So it's been a really lovely experience. And this experience, I believe, is open to the public. I'll leave everything down below. But Sloan Street has just so much to offer and so many beautiful shops and restaurants from designer to high street and there's a couple of my favorite restaurants on here which i'll leave down below as well so you've got i'm literally looking at it now there's a company called raw press which do amazing like smoothie bowls and things like that and there's a ha anya hindmarsh just up the road as well so you it is an incredible destination and it's literally 10 minutes from victoria station so definitely give it a go but yeah we're both going for this, but we all both want all everything for the house actually. There is an hourglass diffuser, which I wanted, which I might get. It's this one here. And it just looks so sweet on the bookcase. So this is it. And then you just flip it upside down and then it comes out through here. But if you look up here, it's just like a really pretty decoration. So, so yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> We've just been to the Beaverbrook Hotel townhouse. Um, so there's a Beaverbrook Hotel which is out in Surrey and they've just set up, I think it opened in 2021 and it is beautiful. It's a really lovely mixture of 
Asian infusion with like a really old school English touch. So they were telling us about, well, we looked at the menu and it's very Asian fusion, like with fish and sushi and it just looked incredible. But they also had like really old school English like desserts. What did they say it was? Churchill. Churchill cigars. So, yeah, so it's a um, chocolate pudding in the shape of cigar. Yeah. Um, which we so thought granddad would just It was just love. a really nice classic touch. So, I mean, if you've got your parents coming up to London or you're going into Sloane Square, that is just a really cool, it's a really cool touch. And um, it actually is a members club. So I'm not 100% sure if you can book publicly, but I would double check and just call them up and see what they can do. Um, but a really lovely spot. It's literally just on Sloane Street. Um, so you're around Diptyque um, and your High Marsh. You've got all the shops. And now we're gonna get a cab straight to the Ivy, which is really lovely. Um, but yeah, really recommend that. I mean, the cocktails went straight to our heads. Amazing. But um, really lovely. It was a, it was called a top hat, was it? Yeah. Called? And it was um, champagne, tequila, grapefruit. Had everything. It had was everything. Just beautiful. I mean, we've only had a smoothie bowl today. I know. And we didn't have dinner last night, so. Yeah. No wonder why it's gone to my head. Um, but yeah, we've had a lovely day. The sun is shining. Oh, this afternoon has just been insane. We got a little perfume, a matching perfume each. We did. Do you know what I really like as well? Is that we both picked the same fragrance so this can remind us of this experience. Definitely. Because our, I don't know what they call it, like a perfumist. Loveliest guy. And the experience in there is amazing. Oh. And also as well, the personalization is free. So if you want to go and treat yourself or your loved ones, you can actually go and get it personalized so we got our names on it um but yeah he was trying to recommend like something that reminds us us of the fragrance we already have but i don't want something that i already have yeah. obviously the same like if that's what you you want to do yeah but i feel like this is so different but he, he introduced us to so many new perfumes that you would never think about yeah but he try. like he like personalized it to the notes that we yeah. do already like and yeah. just was like this is a little bit different yeah and things like that try. yeah and it just there's there were so many things that you could do for the house yeah. for your home for your oh wardrobes like i just want to buy everything in there well the diffusers that you can get for your wardrobe were insane oh amazing and then they had them lifetime not, not lifetime but the hourglass oh, God. oh yeah i showed them just that. the beautififul presence for incredible anyone. just stunning and they're pretty as well because yeah. with candles i feel like after you've used them there's not really much you can do where with the hourglasses they're quite like ornaments and yeah beautiful like book shape bookshelf like accessories um so yeah that was a really lovely experience Amazing. so really brought everything sloan square <laughs> Um, Sloan Street very kindly invited us along to go and experience that and go and introduce ourselves to the Beaverbrook townhouse which I'm so happy with oh. so like I feel like we've both said this is our new spot yeah it's beautiful it's just really cool yeah. um but yeah it's been a lovely day and now we need to go and get some food <laughs> yes yes no being absolute oh unreal it's amazing been delightful day. So we've arrived at the Ivy. Sorry, we've got people next to us are really loud. So I'm just going to quickly show you what we've got. We've got the Ivy Classic Champagne. We've both gone for the sea bass with a Mediterranean. It looks phenomenal with an aubergine dip. And then we've gone for some baby gem lettuce and these zucchini fritters, which are gluten free, but cross contamination. So if you are celiac, don't eat these, but I'm usually fine with these. So yeah, that is perfection. Champagne, best company. And we're in the garden as well. The garden is, it's so warm in here. It feels like a summer's day. Unreal. Unreal. So we have coffee in the garden. We're having coffee in the garden. Delightful. Good morning. It is Thursday. I'm off to an event actually. Um, I'm gonna put my little little bag on because I just feel like it makes the outfit. It's quite cool. Um, and I'm actually gonna put. It's quite handy because I put my um, my AirPods and bits and bobs in there. But yeah, I am off to 
to an event with Wild by Heart or Wild Heart. It's the beautiful, if you have ever been to um, Notting Hill, Westbourne Grove, there is the most Instagrammable florist on Westbourne Grove on this turquoise kind of point. It is stunning. I'll leave a picture here. Um, and they've actually got in contact with me to kindly do a, um, a bouquet arranging and um breakfast so it'd be really lovely to meet the team because obviously it's like a I feel like a florist that everybody knows is so infamous so I'm very honoured that they've thought of me to kindly invite me along um, so I've just got a really nice white crisp t-shirt on which I kindly received from what the brand I'm actually going to do a haul with you guys because it is such a lovely brand I got a really lovely green utility jacket this shirt which I'm obsessed with is just like the perfect undone cool look um, I've got my and other stories trench on the Pauline pink bag the blue jeans I'm actually wearing, sorry about the mess behind me, it's not too bad. My June Court Heels. And then I thought I'd pair it with my JW Anderson bag because I think that just looks really cool and it just fits everything in. So that is the look for today and my fragrance of the day. Fragrance of the day is the Diptyque Neroli um, scent that I kindly got gifted when I went to Sloan Street with mum and it's got my, my name personalised on it. So in the flag store in Sloan Street and I think in their other ones you can get that done but I definitely know the one on Sloan Street you can get your fragrance and a candle personalised which is really lovely. Um, it's complimentary when you buy the product. But yeah that is my look for today so I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to dash now. I've got to dash because it's going to get me take me an hour to get there and especially with living in on the district line area uh, at this time of morning it is a nightmare to get anywhere so um we'll grab the train and see you guys at the lovely event we just arrived at the breakfast with wild at heart there's the most beautiful tablescape <gasps> Bouquets now. We just had some breakfast and peeling her roses. Peeling her roses. We got all the tips and tricks. So very excited to create a really pretty. But look at that doing it right. <laughs> this is going to be for when we <laughs> when like we move. Balance. We're going. I'm going to come to your house and we're going to just do all these like beautiful. I'm going to find her in the actually. kitchen. Like she's like, I'm just in the garden kitchen, <laughs> darling. I'm just getting the champagne. Peeling the roses. <laughs> just peeling the roses. <laughs> whilst the whilst the champagne chills. Yes. <laughs> peeling my carrots and my and darling. my roses today. I will look at the go. This is our setup. <laughs> Yeah. We get married. <laughs> so these are my final bouquet of flowers that I've done. I'm quitting Instagram and becoming a florist. They are just honestly, I was saying to the girls how grateful I am that I get to obviously meet the team at Wild at Heart, but also as well get to take home such a beautiful bouquet of flowers which are just enchanting. And at Wild at Heart they really make sure to pick flowers from which are from England and the highest quality and it was just really interesting to get like tips and tricks about the flowers and where they come from and how to look after them and yeah really interesting so a very lovely morning getting to know the team and just honestly look at how beautiful these are and these were what we had on the table just like really beautiful wild flowers and they're just oh, and we got to, we learned how to peel roses just to make them look a bit more bigger it's absolutely stunning and the tulips I was saying I think tulips and hydrangeas are my absolute favorite so I feel very blessed to experience this it's so cute so I have just got back from the loveliest day stay with wild wild at heart I want to keep calling it wild um wild bite art because there's a restaurant called Wild Bite Art. 
there's also wild at heart and it was the loveliest event it was just so lovely to meet the team behind Wild at Heart, get to know their story, um, be introduced to the owner herself. She is wonderful and get to hear about all the exciting things which is about to happen for Wild at Heart. They've got a townhouse coming soon which is really exciting. Um, I'm not going to give too much away because I'm not too sure if that's public knowledge just yet. But it's going to be coming in like June time which is really exciting and it just sounds wonderful um and i highly got to take away the most beautiful bouquet of flowers i feel like every vlog i do at the moment has wonderful flowers in it so um just going to make it look pretty i'm really struggling with the vase but i've just put it in my ginger jar and i think that does look actually really lovely i mean i'm trying to avoid showing you the the remnants of my dead olive tree but how beautiful is that and i'm cleaning in the background but oh how wild how beautifully wild is that wild at heart that is honestly oh beautiful but i'm gonna pause on this situation and jump in the shower because I'm needing a little bit of TLC and I am just, I just need a refresh before I head out tonight. So I'm going to go and do that. I've just had a shower. I have just done my hair. I'm feeling fresh. I've just put this cream on and I just have to rave about it again. I don't know if I raved about it in my previous vlog, but I kindly got sent, first of all, a PR parcel from Bobby Brown. And they kindly sent in it a mini of this um it's the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base and it is incredible and i was raving about it on my friday get ready with me with that being said that day without them like even seeing that i was loving the mini one they kindly sent me this large one and honestly i am obsessed and my makeup just goes on so much so much more nicer <laughs> nicer nicely with it and i'm completely obsessed actually i've been meaning i keep not using it but i've kind of been sent some products from mac to try so i feel like i should get them out to give a go um it's when i went the other day actually to um to meet them and get my skin tested i feel like should i try the foundation i'm gonna put some lip balm on though so mac have a couple of new products and one of them is the lip glosses the gloss stick and i've got it in this really nice simultation 19 which is like a really nice brown you can't really see it in this lighting my bedrooms are always dark have we always have we noticed <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't wait for the day when a bedroom with a mirror a window where it's private and suitable to have a dressing table because obviously right now this window here literally looks onto another apartment and it's their bedroom so it's a bit intense so i'm not going to put my my dressing table there and um, but i'm actually going to go in with my fenty beauty base first and then i think i will try maybe nc25 in their new mac studio fix everywhere all over face pen and this is a crayon corrector so basically they were saying to me how to use it i have got something else basically i've also got a dewy skin tint which will be really nice for the summer so what could be really nice is mixing the light tint this tinted moisturizer with this as well and see how that goes but for safety i'm just going to apply a little bit of the fenty foundation because i already had that on my hand and i don't want to waste it and i just love that foundation so much um so i'm gonna go in with i'm gonna go in with this nc20 the nc35 may be a little bit dark i thought we were gonna go for nc30 no nc35 and nc20 so this is what it looks like so i'm gonna go in with a little bit of the studio fix everywhere all over face pen because it is an evening attire so i want to have a little bit more of a fuller makeup look and i can do that with the fenty one but i want to give this a go so i've got it in nc25 and this is what it looks like and i think that for transport is just so cool and cre incredible. I'm gonna put that much in for now, maybe a tiny bit more. And basically it's an all-in-one product where you can use it under your eyes, as a concealer, um, as an all-over product. And yeah, apparently it's supposed to be incredible and it's their new invention. 
so very excited to give it a go so like i said i've just mixed it in with the fenty so i'm not going straight in heavy with it because i think sometimes it can be a little bit risky trialing out a new product especially on a night out when there's going to be photos yeah so today has been the loveliest day first of all we started with a breakfast with wild at heart at 100 shoreditch which is just the most stunning venue and oh i really like that and then i had a big catch up with tula and we did some shooting which was really nice i'm just gonna go with my clinique concealer i'll leave my makeup all down below it was just really nice to catch up because we haven't seen each other in ages we are with each other tonight as well which is lovely but at events you don't really get the chance to see each other and also as well we were supposed to see each other with our lovely friend chloe tomorrow that got cancelled due to tula having to move so it was really nice to just sit down we did a bit of a shoot and then yeah we are seeing each other later today but yeah it was just a really nice day got some content um had a really honestly really lovely morning with the wild at heart team it was just so lovely to be introduced to the team the owner get to know the brand also as well they've got some really exciting news of a townhouse coming soon which is really cool i don't know how much i can tell you but i can just say that it's not just going to be a classic florist it's going to be a place kind of like an art studio where there'll be different creative experiences you can do there and not just floral arrangements but also as well they're going to have their own product line which is really exciting so it was just really nice to meet the, her and the team and to just hear all the inspiration behind the brand and just get to know it and um yeah i really enjoyed really enjoyed it and it was just so inspiring to meet them obviously wild at heart is a very known oh that lipstick is really like fresh wild at heart if you don't know is a very well-known florist in westbourne grove they are also the florist outside liberties and they are just the loveliest team and it's just wonderful to hear how well they're doing and especially with lockdown and everything like that i feel like it has hit a lot of people differently but it's just incredible to see they're doing so well and growing and expanding and going off into different adventures it's just you've got to root for each other and um yeah so that was a really lovely morning and the team were really lovely i think i've said that a million times but they really were and um i came home with the most beautifulest bouquet of flowers which i will show you in a minute that i arranged but honestly i was saying to tula how how lucky we were to get to meet like the owner of wild at heart get to take home the most incredible huge bouquet of flowers which would have been so expensive like because we had the most beautiful wild at heart only stock the most beautiful high quality flowers and honestly it was so honored we had the most amazing roses and um some eclectus it was just absolutely stunning so i was just so honored to be there i'm just yeah it was a really lovely morning and very 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 pinchy moment that i got to be with the team it was really lovely so we did that so I, yeah i got to come home with a really lovely a bouquet and i've just put it in my ginger jar and then yeah tonight i'm actually off i'm actually off to dinner at hovada with the taylor morris team which is a sunglass company um eyewear company as well mainly eyewear and then went into sunglass um but they also have a sister brand called sunday somewhere where i went to greece with so the last time i actually saw them pretty much was when i went for my breakup so that's all fun <laughs> so it'll be really nice to catch up with the team obviously on a higher note <laughs> so yeah so that'd be really lovely i'm just gonna try out this new studio mac studio fix pro set and blur because it was so i wish i could you could feel this but it was so silky oh it was incredible so i'm gonna set my face with this i've also come down with a bit of a cold so tomorrow morning i'm hopefully gonna have a little bit of a, a lion recently i've just been getting up at uh, 5 30 every morning and i just don't think it's doing anything for my health to be frank so i'm just i've took some off my so it's quite powdery here so i've just taken some and i'm just putting it on this like palette where the pouch will go and i'm just going to brush it on lightly over my makeup and that's lovely delightful okay so i'm gonna carry on with my makeup you've seen all my makeup before um i'll leave all the products that i use and then i'll catch you when i'm getting ready but i just wanted to have a little quick update with where i'm going tonight and things like that um 
and yeah, I'll see you when I'm ready. Okay, I am ready. I'm about to head out the door. One more spritz of Halfiti. This little favourite here. Um, I'm just wearing a black corset top, trousers and black heels, and then a trench with my JW Alice bag because it's got everything in that I was wearing earlier. Um, and the house is kind of clean, kind of not. It's just kind of like plasters, plasters just in case. And yeah, I'm ready to go because she's gonna go. So let's head to the um, Sunday Somewhere event and I'm very excited. It's gonna be a delight. The coos arrived. She's here, my baby here. So we're at the restaurant now, Pavada, and it is amazing here. Sorry, I haven't actually really been able to show you anything. But I'll just like do some videos and like montages. But we're just catching up, catching up with the girls from Sunday Somewhere, Taylor Morris, and we've got our lovely. Hi, 